Welcome back to this masterclass on digitally enhanced payments in association with American Express. My name is Brian Kaplan. I'm editor of The Banker. And with me is Dean Henry, who is the executive vice president of global business financing and supplier payments at American Express. And in this next chapter, we're looking at emerging technologies. Dean, it's been a very exciting time on the whole finance scene with technology. Um, just give us a bit of a flavour for, for what you see as the most exciting developments in technology, especially as far as SME finance is concerned. So, so what's most innovative that we're seeing in the landscape is the way that small businesses uh, are able to operate uh, out of the box with new software capabilities. And so within the landscape, um, you know, the ERP solutions that have traditionally been reserved for large and global clients yeah. are now really accessible for the small business. So as a small business, you can, uh, you know, buy software yeah. that helps you. Can, you can you. even download it. Yeah. Exactly. You can, down, you can buy software that helps you establish all of your licenses, establish all of your, your payroll capabilities, establish your, your payment solutions, and, and manage it on, on your mobile phone. And, and that's exciting for us because... Uh, American Express has this strong uh, history of partnering. And so what we've been actively doing is looking at where can American Express partner to make sure that our capabilities are inside with, these with, with software vendors that have the, 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 the latest... Uh, e exactly. And, and so as you know, payments and lending come together, as payments and lending come together inside of, of uh, you know, uh, you know, cash... Uh, management applications that are that are growing in popularity and digital payments being the predominant way that, that small businesses are, are moving money globally. Um, we're there, uh, you know, partnering and making sure that our capabilities work. And so in the United States, we have a great partnership with a company called Bill.com that has, is enabling small businesses to make payments digitally uh, on and off uh, our network. Uh, we just announced the acquisition of AcomPay, which is a uh, AP automation solution um, that we're, we're uh, expanding in the United States for the mid-market. Okay. And all of this coming together to automate uh, what our clients are. Okay, are we'll, we'll talk about some of these partnerships later on. But yeah. what I want to do now is I want to get you to comment a little bit on the whole sort of artificial intelligence revolution, because yeah. that really does have, of all the technologies, doesn't that seem to be the one that has the most sort of dynamic possibilities? It, it does, but... And dangers, perhaps. Yeah, it, it, it has a lot of possibilities, and I, and I think that the most exciting piece about AI is, is you know, when it gets used, and, it, and we're seeing it get used uh, with small businesses and cash forecasting. And really, this concept of uh, a CFO in a box where uh, businesses have data, you know, uh, that moves in and out of, of their payment, uh, payment rails, bank accounts, and the ability to, to use that information to make informed decisions about what's their cash position and where, where do uh, they need financing, where do they not need financing. And uh, American Express has been uh, a leader in providing data about payments and the ability to reconcile. And, and where I'm excited and, and our product teams are spending a lot of time uh, looking into is how, how do we uh, couple our payment and our lending capabilities with the data that really enhances um, the decisions that a small business owner can make. And can you sort of cross-fertilize data on something like this? Can you, can you sort of, uh, obviously with the customer's permission, but I mean, can you take data from one small business and, and, and sort of put it together and, and, then, and then use it as a, as a group-wide resource? Uh, yes, and, and we've done that uh, historically where we've always been a provider of benchmarks within the industry just to allow a small business to understand how do they compare in terms of spend management to other, other businesses. Uh, but we're we're trying to expand our relationship with small businesses, whereby, uh, you know, we're not a traditional bank. Uh, we are licensed as a bank in the U.S., but but we are also not a, a, a fintech. We're a trusted brand, and I think that gives us some permission to come into a small business and have them share information with us, have and enable us to be the the broker between a traditional bank and a fintech, and and we can provide the trust and okay. the platform. Okay. Uh, uh, what's the, what's the next big thing on the technology horizon? Do you think uh, the next big thing? Uh, you know, I, as I said, I think it's it's the way that businesses use data to manage their their day to day operations, and we're at the start of of uh, of that revolution, and I think it gets it gets stronger as you know, uh, PSD2 and other, other uh, regulations um, open up the availability of data more broadly so it can be uh, used uh, in a okay. more day-to-day -day basis. Dean, let's leave it there, and we'll come back and talk about supply chains in just a minute.